right, friends, welcome back to our online Bible study. Last time we were together, we talked about boldness. Last time that I was with you, we talked about boldness, and we talked about the disciples having been arrested. Today, we're going to talk once again about some of these disciples being arrested. And instead of fortitude, I want to talk about boldness. Boldness is here for like the purpose of our conversation today about like, getting started. Fortitude is about keeping going. So if you look at verse 17 uh, in chapter 5, the high priest rose up and all who were with him, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in public prison. So um, we know that John and Peter had already been arrested. This is nothing new for them. Maybe it's new for uh, some of the others. But then during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said to them, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and began to teach. So they, they, they've been told not to do this. I mean, by the authorities. They have been told, stop talking about Jesus. And what do they do? They just keep talking about Jesus. They are arrested. They are freed. And then they go back to teaching. You skip down just a little bit. And um, the religious leaders are on them again. Look at verse 27. When they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest questioned them, saying, People, we strictly charged you not to teach in this name, yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching. Do you remember what they're uh, charged with doing right at the beginning of Acts? Be my witnesses where? Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So, you have filled Jerusalem with these teachings. Well, these folks are upset about it, but the apostles know we're doing our job. I mean, you know, we got to go to four places. We have checked the first one off the list. We have borne witness in all of Jerusalem, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than people. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed, by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses. Remember, back to the beginning. We are witnesses. We're just doing what Jesus told us to do, to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Look, 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 look. We are doing what Jesus told us to do, being witnesses, empowered by the gift that he gave us, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Not only are they bold, but they have fortitude. Fortitude is one of my favorite virtues, one of my favorite like uh, characteristics or character traits that, that you see in people. People who are able to keep going even though it's been hard and even though it's been hard for a while. And then this is driven home at the end of chapter 5. Then they left the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor among his name. Not complaining about this, but rejoicing that, that they um, are, are worthy of being able to not only preach the name of Jesus, but that these folks um, find them so dangerous that they're continuously arresting them and dragging them, them in. They're worthy of, uh, of this suffering. And every day... In the temple, and from house to house, they did not cease teaching and preaching that the Christ is Jesus. They just keep going. Fortitude is something that I want. And fortitude is something that I find can't uh, be mustered up uh, inside of me very well. It's something that has to be given. I find myself not only uh, receiving boldness, but also fortitude, through time in the scripture, through time of prayer, through encouraging conversations with other people, through worship, through all of those things. And let me just ask you, how is it that um, God might be calling you to keep doing the, the, the hard thing? To keep moving forward. To have fortitude. And can you, can I, like the apostles, 
not, uh, it's okay to obviously complain about that and it's okay for it to be hard, but to also be able to rejoice in the midst of it because we know that God continues to be with us and he will give us that fortitude that we need. Maybe the fortitude that you need right now is just keep going with this reading plan. We've been in this a little bit. And sometimes you read and it just hits you and it's so inspiring. And sometimes you read and it's, not, it's just not quite there. You just don't think the, the feelings or whatever, the insight. Can you also show fortitude and continue with this reading as we continue to explore what this first generation of disciples was up to? Keep with the reading. Let's pray for boldness. Let's pray for, pray for fortitude. And let's keep moving forward. God bless you, friends.